We are back with OP Builds. My name is Nathan Ng, and I'm going to show you guys the cream of the crop when it comes to builds. So without further ado, let's just get at it. First, we have Kiana, and her quick combos and high burst damage are the name of the game. With runes such as First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Sudden Impact, and Treasure Hunter with two adaptive and one defensive shard, you'll be best suited for lane. For items, you need to start with a Longsword and a Refillable Potion. After your first base, you want to get a Terror and Longswords or Serrated Dirk. After that, it's time to rack up some damage items. Grab Duskblade, Man Immune, Lucidity Boots, Sorella's Grudge, Serpent's Fang, and Edge of Night. Alternatively, you can look into Black Cleaver and Prowler's Claw if you don't need to deal with shields and you want to be even tankier. Next up comes Talon, and here we have a juicy build for you as well. Pick up Conqueror with Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. Add two Adaptive and one Defensive Shard into the mix. For this build, it's about sustaining through the early stages of the lane. Therefore, pick up the same build as you did for Kiana. A Longsword with a refillable potion and attempt to go for a pickaxe as quickly as possible. Your first item is going to be Ravenous Hydra to secure the Wave Clear. Then it's Black Cleaver and Lucidity Boots, Duskblade, Sorelda's, and Guardian Angel. Obviously, depending on the game, you can pick up Serpent's Fang or even a Seric's Gage to turn it into a tanky talent. Now, let's talk about the most important part of the video you. How about having access to an all-time available personalized coach that can help you with everything in League? Does that sound good? Well, then what are you waiting for? With Discovery, you can have the tool that you never knew that you needed the most right in front of you. A few clicks and you'll be able to access data sets of the highest performing athletes within League Sphere. Missing out puts the competition ahead. Be first. The next build comes with an all-time classic in the top lane, and it's the Crocodile, Rannikton. Maybe he's bringing Crocs back in style. With this build, you'll be starting with Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Demolish, and Second Wind. We go for Dominance, Solo Bolos, and Tower Platings. You know how it goes, and to put emphasis on that, we need to take two Adaptive and one Defensive Shard with us. For items, we can start with a D-Shield and a Pot. Our first recall should ideally consist of a Pickaxe, and then afterwards, we want to rush Gore Drinker. After that, it's time for Plated Steel Caps, Black Cleaver, Sterex Gage, Guardian Angel, and sometimes a Kempunk Chainsaw. Alternatively, you can pick up items such as Death Stands and even Anathema's Chains that can be a powerful choice if the enemy team runs a single threat comp. Now let's pick up a champion that has been an exotic star in the top lane. Say hello to Rek'Sai Top. The rune page is literally the same as Renekton's apart from the Demolish. Here we take Unflinching and while well, you're good to go. Item wise, you want to be starting with a Doran's Blade and then get an Iron Spike Whip as fast as possible. Your first item is going to be Stridebreaker. This item is just busted for champs such as Rek'Sai and Garen. The enemy literally cannot move away, and if you combine it with her knockup, it makes up for a deadly combo. After this, you want to get Cleaver, Death Stance, Sterex, and another situational item. Titanic Hydra, Guardian Angel, or even Hulkbreaker can work decently well. The next build comes for Support Rel. Augment, Hex Flash, Minion Dematerializer, Cosmic Insight, Bone Plating, and Unflinching. Take an Ability Haste Shard and two Defensive Shards. Now, obviously, you want to start off with a Relic Shield and get a Lucidity Boots ASAP. You want to be mobile on the map and go for some proactive plays. Once you're on top of someone, they'll never be able to escape. After this, get Even Shroud, Knight's Vow, Zeke's, and a Vigilant Wardstone. Alternatively, you can pick up Thornmail if you need anti-heal, an Abyssal Mask if you face heavy AP, and want to buff up your team's AP damage or other supportive items. Frozen Heart comes to mind here. But what about people who love shooting their shot? Well, it's time for some Senna action. Take Fleet, Presence of Mind, Alacrity, Cut Down, Biscuit Delivery, and Approach Velocity. With this, you'll be rapid and running down people just becomes absurdly easy. Pair this with one attack speed, one adaptive, and one defensive shard. Start with the Spectral Sigil and some pots. Get Serrated Dirk for your first ideal recall. Then it's time to pick up Eclipse and Boots of Swiftness. To double down on your range, you want Rapid Fire next. That done, it's time for either utility or some more damage. Kraken Slayer and Kempunk Chainsaw are excellent options, but you also can opt out for a more carry-oriented style with Lord Doms and Storm Razor. We've got quite a few builds now, so what about the ADCs? Let's start with Ash. Normally, Ash struggled a lot with Wave Clear, and that wasn't powerful enough to deal with bullies at the same time. Even though Static Shift gets a nerf for mages, Ash is relatively unfazed by that. For runes, pick up Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Bloodline, Cut Down, Biscuit Delivery, and Approach Velocity with one Attack Speed, one Adaptive, and one Armor Shard. Approach Velocity will make it so much easier for you to chase down people, and then just makes it even more difficult for enemies to escape. 
This is even more powerful with your rush item, Berserker's Greaves. For other items, take Static Shiv, Trinity Force, Runin's Hurricane, and then opt into situational items. Shield Bow, Kraken Slayer, or just the Saturn Lord Doms all work really well depending on the enemy team. With AP Varus being hit, it's time to delve into Poke Varus. Luckily, Varus has always had plenty of builds that work for him. On hit, AP, Poke, just pick your poison. For the poke one, take Comet, Mana Flow, Transcendence, Scorch, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery with 1 attack speed, 1 adaptive, and 1 defensive. Start with a longsword and 3 potions and rush a serrated dirk with tear. Complete your dust blade early on and then grab your mana immune and complete lucidity boots. After that, add Sorelda's Grudge and then it's time for some situational items. Edge of Night, Serpent's Fang, or even a Guardian Angel. Just make sure that you're well equipped for whatever enemy you're facing. Now let's talk about the most hated champions in League, and we have builds for both, Evelyn and Kha'Zix. Ladies first. For Evelyn, pick up Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Absolute Focus, and Gathering Storm, with 2 Adaptive and 1 Defensive Shard. Start with your blue jungle item, and then rush Sork Boots, and then Dark Seal as fast as you can. If you are a professional Evelyn player, you'll even be able to complete Magi's as your very first item right after Boots. Then take Proto Belt, Ravadons, Void Staff, and then a Situational item. Lich Bane, Shadow Flame, or Banshees depending on what you're facing can make the difference pretty often. You want to take Lich Bane if you need more DPS, or Shadow Flame if you need more bursts into shields and overall want more pen. Or you can just take Banshees if you face a Varus or anything like that that can just lock you down as soon as you try to go in for a pick. For Kha'Zix, you can generally choose between multiple approaches, but here we want to promote the full Assassin identity to print money. It's First Strike, Magical Footwear, Futures Market, Cosmic Insight, Sudden Impact, and Relentless Hunter. It's about maximizing gold income as well as being fast on the map. Alternatively, you can also run Treasure Hunter. Just make sure that you take 2 adaptive and 1 defensive shard. Like Evelyn, you can start with your blue jungle item. In your case, however, you may want to rush Serrated Dirk and then itemize into Yumu's Ghostblade. That being done, complete your boots of Lucidity and then go for a playmaking item. Edge of Night will allow you to go for more proactive plays, as you can negate a spell and then have at least one jail free card. Afterwards, get Sorelda's Grudge. Edge of Night is already a situational item, so I want to give you more options to complete your build. You can opt into Prowler's Claw and Guardian Angel, or you can look into Bruiser items that skew your identity towards a tankier version of Kha'Zix. If you're already snowballing, this could be very powerful to protect your own shutdown. Otherwise, you can just roll over them with a full lethality build. Whew, okay, as always, a lot of builds and a lot of presenting runes, items, and such. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, make sure you leave a like and sub to the channel. Thank you for staying and watching, and see you guys next time for some more OP builds. Peace.